Okay, hugs for husbando. And I'll turn the pike into sashimi, of course. I guess it would help if I checked the uh, fortune today. Showering everyone with good fortune. Well, I forgot to set the thing. I forgot to take the cheese maker down. Oh well. So it looks like hops are just going to produce every day, at least according to the wiki. So uh, I guess we're going to be making a lot of pale ale. Pale ale. I forgot how to talk. It happens sometimes. I mean, it's what I spend about eight hours of my day doing, and then I do more. Because it's like, hey, I'm going to get on Twitch tonight. That'll be fun. Oh, harvest you, little rat. Okay, and there's some more hot peppers. I guess Shane likes these, actually. And since they have qualities to them, I guess that would actually be better than beer, but some dark comedic part of me likes giving him beer, which may just speak ill of me, <laughs> but um, oh right, there's that quest for uh, Robin today. I'm just gonna go knock down some hardwood trees I have lying around. And we have a ton of strawberries. And of course, Plenty of coffee. Oh, seriously? Full inventory? Let's just get rid of that. Well, that clears up a little space, not a lot, but it'll be enough. I'll just harvest the rest of these strawberries and uh, put most of them in the preserves jars, which I still haven't done anything to expand yet, which is technically also true of the kegs, but... I think I just need coal for the, uh, well, coal and wood, technically, but it's not going to take a whole lot to make more preserves jars. Maybe I should go up to the, uh, the train yard and go axe crazy. Because I have furnaces set up to make coal. Okay, let's drop some stuff off where it belongs, which varies, but, you know. Oh, it's the frickin' luau. Oh, I guess I have to go see people. Oh, wait, no, I don't. We'll put those up there. Um, I guess it does technically boost your friendship, so I should go. Um, I just have to find iridium quality something to dump in there. Or maybe I'll just throw the mayor's shorts in. Which would be kind of hilarious.
All right, I'll throw in a, an iridium quality cherry. That's that'll work. Okay. I'll keep those in there for recipes. And I'll drop some stuff off here. I still gotta harvest that stuff. And basically pave that whole area. Hey, look at that, a whole bunch of hardwood. It's almost like someone planted it here. Oh, we're not getting a lot out of this. Okay, well, I have seven or eight more trees in my yard, so it's not a problem exactly, but the yield is underwhelming. Oh, a secret note. Well, never mind. Okay, that looks like 61. Okay, I'll have to get a little more. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll be able to finish Robin's project without any real issues. The problem with the Luau is it's basically gonna suck up the rest of the day. Oh, there's a shop here. I'll take that with me though. Vincent, me too. <laughs> oh, George. I identify with you more than I should. Okay. I sort of want to put uh, puffer fish in there at some point. Yeah, there goes the day. I'm still going to get some more hardwood, you know, as long as I have it here to harvest. Seventy three and bingo. All right, we'll handle that later. Well, tomorrow, because uh, today's been sucked up by a silly festival. Oh, good, I wasted a good luck day. That's on me. Oh, well. And neutral spirits. Well, oh sweet, we're in blueberry season now.
Uh, I'm gonna see if I have a farmer's lunch in here. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Looks like a couple days on the star fruit still. that. There's a red cabbage ready to harvest, and that's going to take us down to one item for the community center. We are almost there. I basically just have to wait for my pomegranate tree to bear fruit. You know, I'm going to put some blueberries into the preserves array. It just makes sense. I mean, you get more per. I just need to make more um, of the thingies. There we go. Red cabbage. And are these? These are ready. Okay, I'm going to leave. Well, nah. Big one isn't important. Let's just harvest for the money. It's only the 12th, so we'll be able to plant still more and get some decent quality crops out of them. I mean, you basically get the two melon harvests per season, so no reason not to. Oh, and there's a traveling merchant. I should go check them out today. I mean, they're less important now that I'm not trying to get that cabbage, but, uh, you know, you gotta, gotta get into the habit. Okay. Let's get here. Oh, and I have to stop by Robbins, obviously. Silly me. Okay. Put the inexpensive blueberries in there. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and take these preserves with me. Yeah. We'll take them to uh, Pierce. And let's cross our fingers and maybe get more than one star fruit. Also, what's in the cave? A lot, but none of them are pomegranate. Though I do have an orange for uh, Gus, which is nice. Alright. Check the coops and... Uh, pet the animals, as you do. I 
I guess if I really wanted to lean into truffles as a cash crop, I could just make a bunch of pigs. Um, and technically, apparently as soon as you have a deluxe barn, any barn you make can hold pigs. I didn't realize that before. At least that's just what I read in the wiki. So how true it is, your mileage may vary. But, um... Let me put half of those in there. All right, let's see Pierre. Actually, we're going to take the long way around and visit Robin. I'm also going to leave a lot of mahogany seeds planted on the way. And by a lot, I mean a dozen. Well, that's not a dwarf scroll. So Linus is almost certainly in his tent. We can give him a spice berry. Oh, never mind. It's Friday. <laughs> Forgot. Weeks kind of pass. Um... Okay, I gotta put them in the stockpile. I'm sure it'll make sense once I get in there. Oh, okay. Nobody makes this mistake. No matter how much of a science nerd you are. Oh, <laughs> I guess we have another cutscene because I crossed some heart thresholds with these guys. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, the flute blocks and the drum blocks. There's a reason for those. Oh, hey. Stockpile. Clearly marked. One hundred thousand, and then there's additional... <laughs> okay, I like that. Let's see. Okay, cool. Nice. We'll get there. Um, and then Slime Hutch, I'm still torn on. Stable might be nice. Let's see. Yeah, Mill is going to be cheap, uh, and I should probably build one soon. Not immediately, but... Okay, let's sell a bunch of crap at Pierre's. Oh, I guess I could have put the hops in the kegerator. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I've been so hype about this, I totally forgot there's a thing I'm supposed to do. Oh, another seed maker? Okay. And then we're down to just a pomegranate. And then the community center is finished.
Okay, finally we'll get to Piers. Yeah, Friday. Oh, and I still have to see the uh, the traveling merchant. Twenty five thousand just for that stack of melons. Sweet. Okay, we're going to need, I'm going to say 150 melon seeds. That should do the trick. You know, I guess I could go buy a lava sword. I'm, I'm feeling like it. Well, you know what, let's stop in at Gus's while I have this uh, high quality orange here. He says, business has been really good and the place is empty. Oh, boy. That poor man is suffering some brutal hallucinations. Right, there's a reason I came in here. Excellent. So we're going to respec fishing so I am a trapper and don't have to use bait. And then I'm going to go absolutely nutty with um, crab pots. Hey, there's Shane. I should have brought him a beer. I'll, I'll give you a push if you need. No, wait. <laughs> hey, Z, how's it going? How'd your uh, Final Fantasy stream go? Oh, really? <laughs> I have had that happen with too many games. You know, it's just like you, you get stuck and you have to do something that doesn't seem important uh, to move things forward. Yeah, I know very little about Final Fantasy VII, and I have... I have the... I think the first part of the trilogy, I guess. It was one of those uh, Xbox Live or Xbox Live PS Plus bonuses. I just haven't downloaded it and played it. I might stream it one day. I don't know. Okay. 
Okay, this seems bad. Oh, really? Which one is that? Ah, okay. I am pretty unfamiliar with that, but that shouldn't be surprising. I don't know a thing about Final Fantasy for the most part. I played 6, um, I watched a friend of mine play a lot of 7 and 8, and I played a lot with, uh, uh, the one that has the guy who has the tail. I don't remember which one that is, but I haven't really touched the series other than 4 and 6 for the most part. Nine. Okay. If I remember, Nine had an evil femboy villain, which certainly seems to be a recurring theme. Not that I'm ob objecting. So this will be another 32 melons. That'll pay off later. I should probably fertilize these since they're such a crack cash crop. Oh, let's see. There's another couple spots here. I don't even think I beat nine. I think I got a few discs, a couple discs in, and I just got sick of it. The thing that uh, really bogs me down with those is uh, once you start having to grind, the game just becomes not fun. And I don't feel it offers a lot in its combat system where you can get better at the combat. So it just... Uh, they wind up being ones I don't really stick with. Oh, there's a few more spots down here. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, so kind of like um, kind of like the Seven remake and the um, I guess Final Fantasy fifteen is also a bit more action. Which means I may have to actually check it out one day. It, you know, when it's on a deep enough sale, it'll probably happen. Okay, do I have rain totems? Can I make it rain tomorrow? Oh, that's a beach totem. What do I need to make one? Oh, truffle oil. Well, never mind. That's not happening. Okay, so we're going to call it a day here. Oh, I have two iridium sprinklers I haven't even used yet. Wow. Oh. Well, that was lucky. Three more? Let's sit on those for a minute. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it does seem like there's an awful lot of road tripping. In fact, that may be the entire point of the game, I'm told. But there's still other stuff going on, which may be worth it. But, uh... I don't know, maybe I'm gonna have to check out a Let's Play before I actually, uh... What was that? There we go, a trapper, and... No longer require bait. There we go.
So something happened overnight, and I have no idea what. An explosion was heard in the night. Um, okay. Oh. Oops. Oh, I have, I have corn now. And now I can make pumpkin soup, which helps with luck. Although I now need... I absolutely have to turn off the cheese maker now. Because <laughs> having a luck boost is really good for any kind of dungeon crawling nonsense. Because it's rare that you see a game actually use that as a stat in some way that matters, but... The effects that it has when you play on a good luck day versus a bad luck day are pretty dramatic. Alright, and coffee, of course. I... Okay, I can harvest the poppies. And we have some fresh star fruit. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, look at that, a meteor. Can I harvest it? Excellent. So I got a little iridium ore out of... Oh. Hold on. If I'm going to harvest those, I want to jack up my farming skill a touch. You know what? I don't have any milk to do it with. Never mind. Yeah, those are going to sell for a good bit, a good bit, and let's get poppies. I'll just save the good ones for um, Penny. That's her name. Okay, that's looking pretty full. And what's in here? Parsnips. Good. Okay, so we can harvest these at least, but it looks like there's a quality thing over here that's going to pr prevent me from harvesting probably some random parsnip. All right, I'm going to put a few of the lesser star fruit in here. See what we get out of that. Okay. And... Oh, wait. The low-quality poppies need to go, too. Alright. That'll do the trick. Okay, my, uh... My headphones are draped across the, uh... The soundboard. And I just pulled them with my knee, and I wondered if I had, uh, turned any of the pots too far... there.
Oh, yeah, it looks fine on my uh, meters here, too, so I should... I think it seems all right. And... Let's see if we've already made cheese for the day. We have. So I want to start accumulating milk for a particular recipe. So we'll do that. And I'm going to go forage. Actually, wait. I'm going to see what my luck is like. Okay, some of this can go in here. Yeah. And I'll go ahead and throw corn in there. I mean, I don't use it for much, but there's a few recipes that require it, so I might as well get it out of the way. And let's see, we need four cloth, probably wood, stone. I forget exactly what I need to build a mill, but... Nice. We're getting up a uh, stockpile of batteries. Twenty-two star fruit. Not too shabby. And... Oh, that's a lot of wood. And I'm still going to go after more. Okay, so we have 22. We're going to need a lot more, and I think that's just going to call for a trip to the desert. Okay, quick trip to the desert. We'll grab uh, a few. I don't know how many, but we'll grab some star fruit and plant basically the second crop for the year. Oh man, right? You'd think I'd learn, but I ate popcorn earlier and I've got those little flakes from the kernels. Just sticking to random parts of my gums. Okay. Anyway, I'm sure nobody cares about that. <laughs> let's get let's get back on task here and Oh. I already have that one. That should be enough. And this time I'm going to make some fertilizer for uh, the star fruit. Because I planted without fertilizer, so the crops didn't come up with as much gold as I would like. God, I really am optimizing the. Uh, the challenge out of this. Oh, whoop. wrong way. Oh, it's Saturday. I can't feed Linus anything. I guess I'll uh, build a mill. I think, actually, I can start planting wheat, which I might as well do. Oh, hello. That's a large bed. <laughs> I 
sleep receptacle. There's a fine line between sci scientist and nerd. Are you high? Jesus Christ, Robin. Yeah, we'll just set up way in the corner there. Because wheat, you know, it doesn't sell for a whole lot. And really the only utility I get out of it is, uh, you know, I can harvest it for hay. So I figure if I can at least turn it into flour, that's something I can use for cooking. Plus, I'll soon have the capacity to make uh, beets, which I can turn into sugar. Excuse me. What time is it? Oh, geez, I've been at this over two hours already. Well, tomorrow's Friday, so I will be streaming again. That's just kind of, uh, kind of how that works. Get some melons and some poppies out there. First, we'll plant a bunch of star fruits. Oh, you know what? I have that. Uh... Hold on, I'm gonna do another bunch of poppies here. I have those two sprinklers. I might as well set them up. Yeah, there we go. And there's some stone floors. Perfect. the tiles out first, or we'll try to. There we go, and It's always nice when you can plant stuff when it's raining, uh, just because that's a step you don't have to do. You don't have to water anything. And there we go. And there we go. Oh, I was just thinking, I can make more crab pots, and I probably should. 
I'll do that after I fertilize the, uh, these crops. Whoops. Okay, there's a spot I can place a melon. I don't know why it's empty, but... And I'm going to put the rest of these up in the greenhouse. And then we'll see about fertilizing some stuff. Yeah, we've got some spots here. Okay. You know, I need to remember this buff. I mean, I, I made all this coffee for a reason. Oh, is my sword in one of these? It is. Okay. I was a little worried about that for a moment there. The heck? Okay. Grab all those. And a bunch of sap. And we'll see how much of the, uh, the good stuff we can make. 33 is not a whole lot, but it will do. You know what? I didn't even check to see if I had some in the box still. So we've got some crops set up, and we can. S well, no, we don't really have time to go to the the, uh, the train yard. I'll just carry some poppies with me, I guess. And... Alright, we'll check the beach. Then I think the next time I play, which will be tomorrow evening, uh, I'll be able to uh, go cut down a bunch of trees next to the train tracks and turn a ton of them into coal just for... Uh, sorry, it's too warm in here. <laughs> I, I left. I, I've been trying to turn the AC off more, because despite being September, it's still frickin' uh, 80 degrees outside some days. Plus, you know, just having a person in the house uh, increases the temperature. So, you know, I've got it up to 78 where it should be, and I'm kind of feeling it. I've got this fan that's blowing next to me, and it's not doing enough. Nice thing is all this stuff is foraged, so it won't have varying quality levels. It'll always be top notch. I mean, I'm just going to sell it all, but... Oh, I guess mussels are somehow fish. Okay, well... You know, I'll just put these in with the foraged junk. You never know when you'll need it. I need to rearrange the uh, 
the house too and decorate it better. Oh, farming paid off. Yeah, starfruit. That gold quality stuff is really good for your bankroll. So there's another 40,000 just raining from heaven. Okay. Um Displeased spirits and hmm. Oh, and Robin's building the thing. Well, it looks like we have a good harvest for next time I play. Uh, some red cabbage coming up. So we are down to just the pomegranates. Or the pom one lone pomegranate, and we are done with the community center, and I'm kind of hype about that. Now, I was just thinking about a thing. Oh, right. So the price of crab pots has been reduced. There we go. Oh, it's only wood and copper. Ha 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 Oh. How much copper do I have? 26. Is it one copper or two? Two. So I can make 13 more. And I can just buy a ton as well. Okay, so... We're going to harvest a bunch of wood and then make a bunch of crab pots tomorrow. As for now... Oh, Saturn's on. Is Dot on? Okay. Well, thanks for watching. It's I'm happy to have anyone stop by and chat. As for now, I'm going to call it a day. Oops. And we'll be back at it tomorrow. Hey, thanks for coming by. And I need to find my end slate. There it is. As always, my nonsense can be caught here on Twitch at Spook Plays Games, Twitter Spook Plays Games, and YouTube Spook 327. I'm going to put the end slate up. Stand by for a raid. <laughs>